The Pittsburgh Metals giant Alcoa said they'll close down the Point Henry aluminum smelter and two rolling mills in Australia after operating the smelter for over 50 years. The operational review took two years to complete before the decision to close it came and the Chinese aluminum production was a key factor to consider. This massive smelting operation at Point Henry consumed a full 40 percent of Victoria's power production. With a flood of Chinese production and a much cheaper and subsidized power flowing to smelters in China's northwest provinces, as well as restarts in provinces like South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, Alcoa can't make Point Henry competitive. The Chinese capacity is also keeping the market low, and the price per pound on the London Metals Exchange has continued a three-year skid. The closing of Point Henry smelter will stop about 10 percent of Australia's total yearly output. The majority of the aluminum produced went to the two rolling mills attached to the smelter, while about 92,000 tons of aluminum ingots per year were sold to other processors. While Alcoa is closing down operations, China's aluminum is growing against market logic. China produced 21.5 million tons of aluminum last year, a 6 percent increase over 2012. This production is in the face of a commodity forecast from Goldman Sachs saying this year aluminum is expected to drop below 2009 prices. Paul Howes, the National Secretary for the Australian Workers Union, said the global oversupply of aluminum has devastated the industry in Australia. Jobs lost at the smelter and rolling plants will be close to a thousand jobs.